Hey everyone, Will McReynolds from KP9 Interactive. I'm gonna talk a little bit about interactive print today and different ways that you can engage your audience quickly by using methods that they already know. Uh, it's Interactive print is not talked about a lot, but it's, it's one of our biggest revenue sources here at our company, for example. And what I'm showing you can be used for other platforms as well if you're already engaged with them. You know, we're doing stuff for beer cans, uh, direct print, real estate signage, business cards, uh, murals, the list goes on. Natural feature tracking is what you may have heard it called as well. Marker-based tracking, interactive print. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can engage real quick, okay? So for example, this is a mock-up envelope. Uh, we have the ability to tap for NFC as well as scan a QR code. You know, the QR code is well known now. The pandemic has helped the QR code be adopted more than it was 10 years ago. Uh, but if I tap this, if I take my phone, if the user has the ability to do so and they understand this method, then they can just simply tap their phone. It opens up the uh, portal and it tells them to line up their uh, the image with with the uh, no that. So the education component is there as well. We don't want users that we want to get them in and out as fast as possible, right? Let me just share my uh, full screen here. So you can see that a little bit better. Our particular platform, we've made sure that. We, you have the ability to add uh, subtitles as well so that the user, if they have any kind of uh, hearing loss, that they can just watch the subtitles or if they're in a position where it would just make sense to do so, right? You'll see that at the top. So now scan the QR code. It does the exact same behavior as tapping the NFC. It comes up the instruction component. I'll show you one more method. So for the future, when glasses and things are more prevalent and things are always on down the road, uh, what, what we can also do is use natural feature recognition and we can scan up to 4.2 billion images per database, okay, on our servers. So in that case, the user would just go scan image and instead of tapping the QR code or NFC or scanning the QR code, the next era were built for that as well. So they can just look at something always on recognition and it will do that. Moving on. Let's scan this QR code here. Again, the educational component comes up. I'm just going to aim at this real estate sign. I've got some uh, meet and greeters for the realty team. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the built-in QR code scanner. So instead of having to go back out to the camera, thing, I'm gonna leverage the uh, QR code reader that we have built right into our web AR structure. So if I tap that QR code, I can just scan another one. And it will open up that experience. Let me just try one more. I'm going to show you one last thing on how you can integrate uh, mer markerless uh, abilities within a within a print uh, interactive print. This one will take a second to load because I have an actual Matterport scan in 3D off of the surface of this uh, of this print. So now we have a video and we have an actual 3D structure sticking off the print. Now, if I tap that structure, it will open up the Showcast version of it, the markerless space, and you could actually take your uh, your scenarios, your casts, uh, it could be anything. It could be a product, it could be a blender, a car, whatever you want to show it at actual scale. Now that it's loaded on my portal, on my web air portal, I'm just gonna tap the place in my space. All right, I'm now in the, uh, let's just move around here. So I can walk around in the environment. If I had enough room to do to do so, I could do the entire, the entire structure. And I can also just move with my uh, finger on the screen and rotate. I can pinch and zoom, I can get that dollhouse view.
so that's that's one of many ways to engage your audience with interactive print and how you can use it as a launch pad, a, a jump a springboard to other scenarios, right? Uh, for example, the this uh, Sapero, it was a, a, a game that was activated on the can. Uh, that was an example of showing real estate coming to life on on a, on a sign where you could actually get other uh, unique elements. A lot of people say, well, why would I use a QR code to uh, to just bring up interactive print when it can go to a website? Well, that's true. But you can also engage in a whole different level uh, in a way that resonates more in a spatial, a tangible way. Instead of going to a static screen, it's you know doing things in a spatial way or things that are disruptive or, or unique or different are gonna stick out more, especially the fact if you have like a 3D item sticking off of the print. Now you can also do a lot of things with cool 2D video. You can have a, uh, an image of a video, the first frame, and when I look at it, that video would come to life. And that could be done on, uh, on uh, signage out front of a store, on a business card. And the other cool thing is you can get analytics on this, where, when, and how long it's being viewed. So there's many ways that interactive print can be beneficial. And there's many ways now that are easy to access for the audience, that the target audience that, that you want to have quick access, easy access to it. It's easy to create and easy to consume more so than it ever has been in the last decade. Now is the time to start engaging your audience, whether it be print, whether it be services, or whether it's placing the content in at location via uh, geolocated uh, geo uh, items. We have three services for that. Printcast for print, marker-based, showcast for surface for markerless uh, content, and geocast for placing content at reality. And they can all be done, there's four different ways most of them can be accessed. NFC for print for sure, or even showcast, or even at a location if you want to, uh, so NFC works there. QR codes, of course. It's a URL, so you can you can share it. And then the other one was for the natural feature recognition component of print. So you have three ways to, for the most part, for sure. Uh, NFC, share URL, or scan a QR code. So lots of benefits to interactive print. I can't wait to see what, what you'll create and what you'll do with it.